This script will make an image of John Cena appear whenever the characters C, E, N or A are pressed. For this project you will need an image of John Cena. You can easily find one on Google Images. To make this project easy, find a small image so it will fit on the screen when it appears. Mine is 620x400. To track key presses, we will then need the Pi Input module. First open your browser and go to the Pi Input GitHub page. The link's in the description. Click the green button and download the project as a .zip. Go to your downloads folder and extract the zip downloaded. In the files extracted, navigate to the folder with setup.py. In this folder, hold shift and right click, which will give you an option to open a command prompt in the directory you're in. In the command prompt, type python setup.py install. This will install pi input. Since I already have it, I'll cancel the installation. To check if it's installed properly, open up the python shell and type import pi input. If this is successful, pyimput has been installed. Now open up a Python shell. Import pyimput, the Python imaging library, threading, and tinker. First set a blank directory to the variable threads, and then create a definition called open. Set up the window. Here you can choose a different title and set the size of the window to the size of the image. Then reference the image and put it in the window. Finish that off with a main loop to make sure the window doesn't disappear. Define the on press definition that takes the key as a variable. Check if the key press is a letter you are looking for. You could add more keys here if you want. If it is one of the trigger keys, start a thread of the open definition to call the image. Finish this all off by setting up a listener. Save this with a .pyw extension so it runs in the background with no console. After you've moved the image into the same directory as the script, run it and make sure it works. Every time the keys C, E, N or A are pressed, the image should appear. To stop this, open Task Manager and find pythonw.exe. Right click on this and end the task. If you want to compile the script so it works on a computer without Python, you'll need to do it in a special way with PyInstaller. First install PyInstaller using pip. If you've not set up pip before, first go to your files and right click on computer, then select properties. Then from the left side, select advanced system settings with a shield beside it. Then click on the environment variables button in the advanced tab. And here, scroll down in system variables until you find the path variable. Click on that and click edit. You'll then need to create a new entry by clicking new and typing the location of your Python scripts file. Since I have Python 3.4, I'll use the Python 34 directory. When you have finished that, close everything and open up the command prompt. Type pip install pyinstaller and hit enter to install pyinstaller. When that's done, type pyinstaller and hit enter in the same window. If no errors appear, it has been installed correctly. Open up your script and add a new resource path definition and add a way to find a base path of the image. This will make sure the compiled file can find the image. Then wrap this definition around the image file so it is referenced with a full path. Now finally import OS. In the same folder as your script, hold shift and right click in the folder to open up a command prompt in the current directory. Type pyinstaller-w-f and your script name. As soon as something appears in the console, hold control and press C to cancel the compiling. Delete the build and dist folders. Open the .spec file generated. Add a new line to append the image you downloaded to the compiled file. Make sure this is done properly. Now go back to the command prompt and type pyinstaller and then your .spec file. You can now run the executable file generated in the dist folder. To stop the file you'll need to go to task manager and end all instances of the executable.